EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys, and we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25 with the Chicago Bears. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. A first down throw for Mayfield. Looking for the out route, it's completed to Landry. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Number 20, Jalen Johnson up to make the tackle. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to hell and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 45 on second down, Mayfield. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 21. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. Number 10, the improv Mitchell on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. David Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes. 
first down. Credit the sack to the always disruptive Olivier Vernon. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now Trubisky on third and long. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Throwing Mayfield. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. His throw incomplete. Rashard Higgins was the one he was looking for, and it's third and four. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Mayfield with it once more. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And he is going to have a Browns first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The ball carrier. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Mayfield to throw it. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mayfield on first down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Brings up third and two. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the gun, Mayfield. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So on fourth down, out comes the Browns kicker, Austin Seibert. A 32-yard attempt. Cybert able to knock this one through. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. Three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. the gun it's Trubisky that is caught by Cohen and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34 just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense looking to throw again on second down Trubisky, and the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Here's Natson. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. On first and 10, Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield to Sean Gibson. Give him the sack on the safety blitz. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Jamie Gillen now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Thirty-seven yards on the punt with no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Trubisky. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself. And you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. He's got to find a player or two, and they could be very happy at that point. That's caught by Montgomery. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They run. Montgomery got some room at the 30 as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. 31 yards there and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. David Montgomery on the it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard four gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, six. or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. From just shy of midfield, Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. Trubisky. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On first and 10, it's Trubisky looking for Gannon, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mac Wilson. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. 
Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. A great effort there to shed the contact. And it helps him pick up the first. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb, and he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now, there's also a flag down, and it's in the area of holding. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hold. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Mayfield on play action. He'll take a shot here for Hooper downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. The sack by Robert Quinn. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted at, their own. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Demetrius Harris, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. But right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Chicago first down, the former Jag, Allen Robinson, on the catch from Trubisky. 
That's the end of the third quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Completion left side to Miller. Trubisky seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky, and this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Well, oh, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now it's Trubisky. Over the middle, that's caught by Miller. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 20-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. First and 10 right at the 20. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, but it's going to be second down. Had no command that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Again, it's Trubisky on the move to his left. He'll run it. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And yeah, that will be incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 33-yarder from the left hash. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. JoJo Nansen now on the return. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Working out of the gun, Mayfield throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Mayfield finding Beckham and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Mayfield. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. They run it again with Chubb. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The last run got six, now second and four. Chubb. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. 
On the ground, it's Chubb. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Okay, just like that, just like that. <laughs> they run, Chubb. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mike five, nine, five, nine. Now Chubb. And yeah, the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And it is good. He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And it's pandemonium in the dog pound as the Browns are going to win the football game. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.